Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Photoshop CC and I am going to be showing you guys how to remove a background from a logo. So if you have a white background or a back black background in the case of this logo, I'm going to show you how to remove that and make the background transparent so you can go ahead and move your logo onto any other color, website, whatever it is, and it won't have that nasty looking background behind it. So the first thing you need to do is open up your logo here in Photoshop and then go ahead and unlock the layer, which should be just the, the logo itself by double clicking over here under the layers panel. And then this box will come up and then you can name it anything you want if you want to rename that layer and then click OK. Once you've done that, you'll see that little lock over here under the layers panel is now removed and we can do whatever we want to do over here on the panel here. So let's go ahead and grab our magic wand tool. So if you do not know where that is, it's under the quick selection tool there. Click and hold and there is the magic wand tool. And in order to remove this background, we'll click somewhere on the background. So there you see the little marching ants there around uh, where, where your logo is. Now, now once we've done this, we want to click one time and then hit the delete or backspace keys on our keyboard and we'll see it deletes a lot of what we want, but we're going to have to go back in and fine tune it a little bit. Depending on how big your logo is, what your logo consists of, you're going to have to go back in and do this a few times. So once we do that, we'll go in and click here and delete. We'll click right here and delete. So wherever we see some of that background that it didn't get on the first take, we're gonna go through here and click and we're gonna delete and remove all of the background. Now, a quick shortcut key in order to go ahead and remove your selection is Command or Control D on a uh, command on a Mac, c control on a Windows, and then the D key on your keyboard, and it will deselect anything you have selected. Now that we have our logo with a nice transparent background, it's as easy as going up, and let's move this down here somewhere, and I have another Photoshop project available to us here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag that layer on top of this nice blue background. So I'm gonna grab my layer, drag it on that background, and as you see, now I have dropped my logo onto another colored background and it looks perfect and I can go through and place it where I want it and it's going to look great because it's not going to have the original colored background. I can put this on any color, any website, and it's going to look fantastic. So hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you've learned now how to remove a background from your logo. If you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comment box below. I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. As always, hit that like button down below share this with your friends and family subscribe to my channel for more great content like this and i will see you guys next time